My name is Sean Nickel. Um, I've married, have two sons, 18 and 20. We've been at Celebration for eight or nine years, right after Derek took over is when we started coming here. I decided I was against it at first, very much so I just didn't want to go through with it, but I was getting to the point where I was either at the end of my rope or slightly past it with just not enjoying life between addictions and just things in my life I've been carrying around for too many decades. I was convinced that I was, God wasn't going to heal me and I was just going to be stuck with this. And on Wednesday night at, at prayer gathering, I got into a conversation with Mark Leonard and I told him, I said, I don't, there's part of me that just doesn't want to give this up. And he stopped me dead in my tracks and said, that is a lie from the pit. That is not true. God did not create you with any of that. And it really changed my outlook. I was like, you're absolutely right. A couple of the, the bigger things that I was set free from is, I don't know if you're, if you know what fight or flight is. Through doctor visits, I found out fight or flight is if something traumatic happens and your your brain activates and like, oh my gosh, you know, what do I do? My brain's like that all the time. So I'm freaking out over everything. And when we went through this, the immediate things that were got, I mean, literally by the end of the session, through doctor visits, my fight or flight, I've been able to make some progress through it and dumb it down, but it was still there. That's completely gone. Anxiety is still there, but it's much more manageable. The fear of, oh, this is just gonna come back, you're gonna come back to the same spot again, he's completely left the building, which is one of the biggest ones because that's always what's got me. Well, you did it again, you know, that kind of negative garbage. And I tell people all the time, I, I'm just blown away, absolutely blown away. Do I still have issues? Yeah, but I mean, who does it? We're not perfect. And I'm able to get through them and it's a lot more manageable. It's just night and day. Night and day difference. You feel like a different person. Afterwards, they asked me, so how do you feel? And I sat there for what felt like five minutes. It was probably only 10 seconds. I'm like, you know, like I'm not hearing, my head is completely clear. I'm not hearing anything for the first time in my life or the first time in decades. I had to learn this is what it feels like to be free and to not be have chains wrapped around you all the time. Yeah, everybody, I know everybody's experience is different with it. And in my case, it took a lot of, took a little bit of doing. I, like I said, five plus decades of carrying this stuff I've been carrying around forever that I didn't think was ever gonna go away. The good thing is they had a class on Wednesday nights, I think it was three or four weeks. Okay, now that you've been delivered, here's what you should do. And that was very, very good because that is a very valid concern that we brought up before it's now what do you do because you don't want to go back to the same way you're living but unfortunately i lost my job and i let some anger and some depression in and fell back into the some of the same habits that i was in before and i caught myself and i'm like no and i've cast them back out now it's nice because i have we all have the ability to do that but now that it's not 50 years of junk it's easier to just Oh, where's Satan? Oh, that's right. He's under my feet. It's awesome. And I can cast him back out and move on. The biggest thing is replacing those things with God filling yourself so you're not tempted. I mean, you can't go back to the same situation. If you grew up in a situation that damaged you, you can't go back there healed and expect it really work out well, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. I am not any of that garbage that I thought it was before. That I'm as sunny as a plan for me and he's in control. I gotta remember that.